In this video, we will be covering the file locking feature. File locking allows users to place locks on files or folders, and even team shares, thereby preventing other users from making changes to those resources, while still allowing the user who placed the lock to edit them. This feature works great for highly collaborative teams that work on the same documents since it prevents users from accidentally overwriting each other's changes. Also, because entire team shares can be locked, you can essentially lock a team share, subscribe users to it, and use it as a one-way broadcast of data to a team. Locks can be placed or removed either from the desktop sync client or from the web. This is simply done by right-clicking the resource you wish to lock. Once the lock is placed, the locked file or folder will get an overlay icon indicating that the lock is indeed in place. Locks are enforced everywhere, including the desktop sync client, the web interface, mobile devices, and web dev. If a user attempts to make a change to a locked file on the desktop client, for example, the file will receive an exclamation overlay indicating that the change could not go up. Also, a SysTray notification will appear indicating that the document could not go up because the file was locked. Once the lock is removed by the user who placed it, the changes made by other users will automatically sync up if no additional changes had been made to the locked file. If the changes made by other users were preceded by a change made by the user who placed the lock, then the user with their own local changes, the offending user, will have to figure out what they want to do with their local changes, either create a new file with their changes, discard their changes, or otherwise. On the desktop sync client, you can place locks with a timer so that the lock will expire after a certain amount of time. Keep in mind that administrators can remove locks regardless of who placed them, just in case a user places a lock and then loses access to the system or goes offline. That covers it for the file locking feature.